Hello everyone, I am Okan and I will introduce Recon VBUX today. First of all, this is VBUX PC software and you can download from Recon.com TR or CN. Okay, first of all, we have to have an account for the registration and we can do it from here if you if you are in Europe countries you can select Europe if you are in China or other countries you can uh, select server from here for example I will I will select Europe and uh, enter a username Okay, here is your password, here is your password, here is your company name, here is your email, and accept uh, checkbox and sign up. After this uh, process, uh, you will uh, sign in into Vivax, for example, my account. Here I entered the Vivax and interface. Uh, first of all, if you, if you will see uh, alarm items and VBUX current alarms, online VBUX numbers, and upgradable uh, VBUX numbers. Uh, we will uh, we, we are seeing a map here for our VBUX, and left side we have uh, VBUX names, for example, Dajel and Test S00 and we have here a template for VBUX configuration for example I clicked test S first of and uh, we can see here uh, VBUX features about general for example real time real time da data alarm part historical data cloud SCADA LOA script pass to and configuration First of all, if you com if you communicate with a PLC or any devices, you can you have to select communication part and add a new device. For example, I will add from Ethernet and Simon's PLC. For example, S7. And here is some settings for uh, co connection to any device. For example, PLC's IP. PSC's port, network type, delay time, wait timeout, etc. And if I click OK, you can see I added a new device here. And first of all, for example, we want to read a word or beat from PSC and we can see real time data and we can add new tag. For example, I will I am adding deep tag for example test tag I will select connection type for example I will add port from Ethernet I select Ethernet and I want to read word address for example Q word or I word or M word for example M word M word 100 and uh, you you can select permissions if you if you need only read read only only write re write only or read and write read and write you can select here if you have any different data formats you can select here if you have more integer you can select here and I click OK can you see I added new test tag and I can where it connected which port and address name and we will we can see the status for example this is offline because we can't connect we couldn't connect to PLC if we connect to PLC and VBUX we can here is green LED okay and uh, some extra features here for example quick action we can add a batch and we can array 
we can add some array here uh, for example 100 to 1000 okay second part is alarm parts alarm part for uh, our alarms for example we can see current alarms for example this time and triggered and value and alarm name for example if we if I uh, confirm this alarm I can see in historical alarm for example this time I confirmed this alarm also we have alarm text here we can add new alarms from here for example let's take out group we can select any for example local address for example major alarm for example a hdx 100 condition when alarm on alarm will available okay i select okay third part is historical data this is for historical data and we can see our historical data's list and chart so if we add new data here we can see like this chart okay also we have historical tag part we can add here any historical part like alarm or real-time data it's so same so similar so easy I think uh, for use and other part is cloud SCADA if we have any bind to SCADA here we can see the R SCADA for example I will I will show you uh, after uh, this explanation uh, fifth part is Lua script we can uh, we can add uh, our scripts here and use for example I added a script for MQTT name is MQ and other uh, other is script sample uh, we can add here and uh, other part is pass through this pass through for a uh, virtual seri port and remote access to uh, our PLC or any device for example I will add new Comport here, for example, content set. Okay, I refresh the page, and if you if you can see virtual port, content, and virtual seri port. If I if I open start pass through or clicks uh, start pass through, this status will online, and I can access to our PS. Okay, I will I will show you later because this can be with with an uh, example with real uh, PLC okay I will pass I am I'm passing here and configuration part this configuration part uh, for VBOX general settings for example here VBOX status offline or online VBOX name VBOX access key VBOX model VBOX industry sector etc etc okay uh, I, I showed communication part so I passed here uh, network part if you send if you send uh, your VBOX to any site or any, fa any factory uh, and after that uh, you want to you want to change your uh, Ethernet or Wi-Fi so uh, if you have any new static IP or dynamic IP or any new Wi-Fi or any new password you can set here you can change the parameters here and save and configure config configure vbox again okay we have some models vbox and vbox has some tags limitations so this is important because if we have more than for example <coughs> For example, 300 real-time data, real-time tag. We can't, we can't add here. We have to choose other VBox models. For example, SAG, HAG, like that. Okay. These are used for SCADA and VBox configuration, real-time alarm and historical. So I used six real-time data, one historical record and three alarm as you can see
after this we have registers information this is for uh, already general information and our VWAX IP address default gateway subnet mask we can see here VWAX configuration as we did before okay time zone for set your time zone version for your version okay uh, now I want to see I want to show you but not here I am uh, searching ah, okay 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 after that we can we can add new sub account here I mean you have a main account admin account and you want to add an engineer account and technician account and viewer account etc so we we will use role okay I am I open the role okay and add new role for example engineer okay and we can see VBAX permissions okay if your new account new sub account has has new limit li limitation so you can set this limit lim this permission here for example our new account can't see alarm part can't add secret part can't use pass through can't use VPN penetration etc okay I will save the settings okay okay as you see I added new engineer account and account management I will create an account for example engineer2 and a password as you can see I can select a role here and ok ok I change. ok I added a new account here and I can edit this account from here I can add a VBOX here for example assign for example test S00 ok ok as you can see I added new VBOX here ok so after this 